What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. You're watching part two of 300 Weatherby versus 300 Rum with Reloading Weatherby. If you haven't seen Reloading Weatherby, I highly recommend you check out his channel. He's got a lot of good information on Weatherby cartridges and also on hand loading and not just Weatherby cartridges but big game hunting and all types of rifle cartridges. So check him out, Reloading Weatherby. This is part two, and part one is on his channel. And in part one, he gives a background of both of these cartridges, 300 Weatherby and 300 Rum. And basically, the purpose of this collaboration is to see how they compare in terms of velocity and energy. How similar are they? Is there a big difference between them? If so, how big of a difference? And so what we're doing in this collaboration is we're both shooting the same factory ammo and we're going to chronograph it. We're going to see what kind of accuracy we get and what kind of energy and velocity we get with that factory ammo. And then for the second portion of our test, we're going to hand load some 175 grain Barnes LRX. And so in part one, Reloading Weatherby did his portion of the test with his 300 Weatherby Magnum. He did a max load with 175 grain Barnes LRX and he tested out the factory ammo. And so in this part, I'm going to be testing out the 300 Rum ammo, the 300 Remington Ultra Mag ammo. And I'm going to work up to a max load with the same 175 grain Barnes LRX bullets. And then we're going to compare and see the differences between them. So for the factory ammo, we chose some Nossler Trophy Grade ammo. And this is premium factory ammo. And Nossler advertises 3,250 feet per second for both the 300 Rum and the 300 Weatherby. So we're going to see if there's any differences between my rifle and his rifle the 300 rum versus the 300 weatherby we're using the same barrel lengths so i have a 26 inch barrel rifle he has a 26 inch barrel rifle my rifle is a custom rifle though he has a weatherby factory rifle and so i have a krieger barrel on mine and a cz 550 receiver so let me just give you guys a close-up look at the ammunition and the bullets so this is the Nossler Trophy Grade Ammo, and you can see they advertise 3,250 feet per second for a muzzle energy of 4,220 foot-pounds, 180 grain Acubond, excellent bullet. So we're going to see what the difference is between his factory ammo and mine, same barrel length, 300 Weatherby versus 300 Rum. What do you guys think is going to happen? Which one is going to go faster? And let me just show you guys the actual cartridge here. So this is what a 300 rum looks like. If you've never seen one before, it's a pretty beefy case. It can hold 110 grains of water. It has the same case capacity as a 458 lot. And it has a case capacity of just a few grains less than a 338 Lapua. So it's a huge case. And the case is loosely based off of a 404 Jeffrey. And here's the bullet that I'm going to hand load up to a max load. This is the 175 grain Barnes LRX. It has a G1 ballistics coefficient of 0.507. This is an excellent bullet. I've done a lot of penetration tests with it. And we decided to go with this bullet for our hand load portion of the test because this is what we both had available. We both had a large supply of these bullets and the LRX bullets are always in stock. So we didn't want to deplete some of the harder to find bullets on a test. So I'm going to load these up to a max load. We'll see what kind of velocity I get. And I'm going to shoot these over the chronograph. We'll see what kind of velocity I get. And then we're going to compare them to reloading Weatherby's results which are in part one and we'll discuss the results at the end of this video 
I'm going to be shooting suppressed. I don't notice a huge difference between suppressed versus unsuppressed in terms of velocity. I've actually done a test on that and it's in my suppressors playlist. I'll leave a link in the top right corner. We're going to try to shoot at roughly the same temperatures. He's shooting at much higher elevations than I am. I'm in north central Pennsylvania. I'm going to be shooting at an elevation of around 1,200 feet above sea level, and I think he's shooting at probably three or 4,000 feet above sea level or maybe 5,000 feet above sea level. So for those of you guys out there that are really into the ballistic stuff, just wanted to give you that information. So let's see what happens here, guys. Who do you think is going to win, 300 Rum or 300 Weatherby? All right, guys, I got some Nosler Trophy Grade 300 rum, 180 grain Acubon factory ammo. And Nosler advertises these with a muzzle velocity of 3,250 feet per second for 4,220 foot pounds. Four seventeen. Thirty-one forty-one. Wow.
Wow. <laughs> That's insane. What's going on, guys? It's NY Prepper here, and I got Reloading Weatherby with me. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, you should definitely check him out. He's a great guy, very knowledgeable about firearms, reloading. Uh, he doesn't just do Weatherby stuff. He does other stuff besides just Weatherby cartridges, but it's primarily focused on you know Weatherby stuff. So just great channel, lots of information. Uh, highly recommend it. So uh, we're going to just discuss our results from uh this uh test which was really cool 300 weatherby versus 300 rum and uh we're gonna start with uh the results from the factory ammo the nosler trophy grade 180 grain acubon so you want to tell the audience what your experiences were with that yeah so i was i mean i thought it did pretty well so I thought it'd be fun, Greg, if we grade it. So what I kind of want to grade is the velocity, the accuracy, and then the standard deviation. Okay. So for those that haven't seen my video or those that don't remember, uh, my velocity, I don't know if you're going to be able to read this, but it's supposed to be going 3250, this factory ammo. I got an average of 3178 feet per second. A uh, standard deviation of seven with an extreme spread of 18, which I think is really phenomenal for factory ammo. I and agree. Then, and then I got uh, a little over a 0.6 inch group. So let's let's go with grades. Um, velocity, I give it a B plus. It was supposed to be 3250, but it's 3178. Uh, that's really the only disappointing thing I, I found out of it. Yeah. Um, Especially out of a 26 inch barrel. I mean, you would think. Yeah. It is what it is. I, I think all manufacturers overhype their velocity to try to get sales. Uh, but uh, the SD was really good. I give that an A. And then the accuracy, you know, out of a $500 rifle with factory ammo, um, I'm going to give it an A. So it's getting close to half M away with the three shot group. That's playing good, especially in factory ammo. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And uh, just so the audience knows, our two-shot groups, both of our two-shot groups were uh, basically hole-to-hole. -hole. The holes were touching. Yeah, like that's less than quarter MOA. So, I mean, it's really the first two shots that are the most critical anyway, if we're talking about hunting especially. You know, it's the first and second shot. You're not going to be taking three, four, five shots. I mean, hopefully not. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I think your assessment is very good. So overall, what would be your, your grade overall for the for the whole? Oh, yeah, I forgot to give an overall grade. I'd say A minus only yeah. because the velocity was below thirty two hundred. Yeah, I, I agree 100 percent. I think I so. think it's great ammo. I've never had any issues with Nosler Trophy grade ammo. I've I've tested uh, their 308. I've tested their 300 Win Mag and. It's all really consistent, good SDs, uh, pretty good velocities. You know, I've never had any. I mean, for the price, you would think, you know, <laughs> uh, for that, you know, it's it's a premium ammo. It's not cheap stuff. So it, you would think it would be good. So, <laughs> yes. Um, is there anything else you want to add or? What was your veloc average of velocity again? Yeah, my average velocity was 3189. And that's with a 180 grain bullet. And that yeah. comes to 4,000. 64 foot pounds so uh, what was yours again 3178 so within nine feet per second of each other yep and then my uh sd and extreme spread was uh 19 on the extreme spread and eight for the sd so basically the same so how um, would you grade it for you i would uh i would i would grade it probably the same i would grade it the same yeah okay. um and and my accuracy was the same as yours. I mean, first two shots were were just holes touching, and then the third shot it it was like probably about 0.6 MOA. 
Okay. Um, so, I mean, basically identical. It's pretty funny. I, identical velocity, <laughs> identical <laughs> accuracy, yeah. identical SD. I mean, it was, and, and then uh, with the actual uh, cartridges, the overall lengths were the same, right? The, yeah. the Weatherby was, was the, the overall length was 3.56, right? Yep. And mine was also, and then uh, I think we figured out uh, what kind of powder they use. Uh, we're guessing it was Stable HD. What do you think? You think so? I think so, for sure for yours. And I think the same with mine. It looks very similar to Stable HD. Yeah, based on the picture and the, and the, the charge weight, I had 95.5 grains uh, when I pulled the bullet out. You had 90, right? 90 even. Yeah, so... Um, so mine's so, yeah. a little more efficient. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I actually took a little bit of time to measure their uh, overall uh, or their trim length. I measured the trim length and the headspace. And it looks like they did a good job with the case prep. They they uh, set the headspace like two to three thousandths below Sammy. And then they set the trim length like two to three thousandths below Sammy. So definitely attention to detail there. Yeah. Um, I mean, it should. Should we talk about the elephant in the room? It should be yeah. really good ammo. So, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's not cheap ammo. That's for sure. Uh, we both paid $100. You paid a little more because you had to get it shipped to you. Yep. Uh, but they're both $100. So it was painful every time you shot. It was 5 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. I mean, hand loading for any thirty caliber Magnum is the way to go. I mean, you're going to save a tremendous amount. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to add on yeah, the... So, with factory ammo, um, they're both really expensive. I did an average just from Midway USA. Uh, the average cost for the 300 Weatherby was ninety dollars for factory factory ammo, and then the average cost for 300 Rum, uh, ninety nine dollars. So surprisingly, the Weatherby uh, was cheaper. I'm sure no yep. one would have thought of that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it better be good for how much it costs. And again, you got to reload for these. I think we're going to let's talk about the reloading because I really think if you're only going to shoot factory ammo, you might want to just stick with the 300 Weatherby. But if you really want to get that extra juice, get a 300 rum because, yeah, let's talk about the velocities you're getting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess we can we can start with the uh, LRX, the 175 LRX and compare the results we had. So um I got the highest velocity I got was 3425, uh, 3426 okay. is the highest. And that's with 175 grain. And that comes out to 4,561 foot pounds. And I also got 3417, 3408, 3398, and 3389. And actually, um, these numbers are coming from um, not just our test, but after our test, this is actually my new um, load for this bullet. So this is like consistent. It's I can consistently hit these numbers without any pressure signs, without, you know, cramming powder in and compressing or anything crazy like that. This is like a comfortable level for me. Which but it's is, just uh, insane, right? I, I didn't expect that. I honestly didn't. So it surprised me. Oh, I thought <laughs> you would get 34. So, but, um, so I got, uh, 3360 and then I bumped it up about a half grain each and I got 3364. So maybe I found a velocity node there, but yep, yep. then I maxed out, uh, due to pressure at 3394. So, um, I think though I was running it a bit hotter than probably you. I was mm -hmm. pushing it a little harder. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think realistically, if you don't want to have a ton of pressure, your max velocity for a 300 Weatherby is going to be a little more than 3,300 feet per second. So maybe like 3,325. Something, something like that. Like, okay. Yeah. But That's I was pushing fantastic. it quite a bit to, you know, just to see what I could get. Yeah, just to see what you could do. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's great. Um, yeah, and, and what kind of did you get a chance to test the accuracy on that, or just you were just doing the chrono with those? I was just doing the chronograph, and I had a. If you haven't seen the video, I had a uh, Magno Speed, mm -hmm. but even with 
have magno speed on there and having different grain weights of the powder i got a three quarter inch group with four shots that's Even really good one the same powder that's weight. actually really good yeah so yeah. i think my rifle really likes the lrx so yeah mine seems to like it too um I was get I got half MOA groups with, with this load now. It's it's my new load for the LRX, and I get like half MOA with it. It's, it's great. Um, so uh, yeah, it looks like so it looks like the uh, the rum, uh, like you said, you know, if you want to really get that extra juice, definitely go with the rum. If you're not a hand loader, Weatherby is probably the way to go. And then um, definitely the Weatherby is is a lot more. Uh, common in general there's more it's been around longer and um, a lot of people have them a lot of rifles chambered for them a lot of ammo everywhere 300 rum is definitely a little bit more of a you know niche type cartridge that you know it's not impossible to find stuff for it but it's definitely not as common as a weather bee for sure yeah so th that's something to factor in as well um is there anything else you would like to add yeah, so uh, moral of the story is hand load. <laughs> <laughs> especially for Magnums, yeah. <laughs> especially for the 300 rum. Uh, you went from 3189 up to over 3425. Yep. It's the same accuracy. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no brainer, especially for the rum, hand load it. <laughs> yeah, that'll, I mean, it, it's an extreme amount of, of, of velocity and energy. I mean, you're going to get expansion out to a thousand yards. No problem with those kind of numbers. Um, I mean, if that's, I, I don't recommend taking an elk at a thousand yards, but you know, it's just, it's, it's definitely uh, a lot of energy. Uh, one thing I want to just kind of mention is that the case capacity on a 300 rum is pretty massive. It, it can, it can hold 110 grains of water which is the same case capacity as a 458 lot. So wow. that's just something to keep in mind. It's a huge case. It only has uh, six grains less case capacity than uh, 338 Lapua. So it's a big case. So you can really squeeze a lot out of it. And, and a lot of the factory ammo, you're going to get around 4,000, maybe 4,200 foot pounds. If you hand load, like I said, you can easily get 4,500 foot pounds um and that's without a lot of pressure without cramming the the powder in there and compressing um you can use heavy bullets and you're still not going to get a compressed load it's it's really uh, a great great cartridge for hand loaders in my opinion so um you're definitely going to get 300 to 500 foot pounds more if you hand load um you definitely want to try to get a rifle that has a little bit faster twist like Mine has a one to nine and a half twist. So this way you can, you know, use those heavier bullets and stabilize them better. And um, if you're going to go with the rum, definitely get a little bit faster twist. One, one to 9.5, one to nine is my recommendation. So, yeah. So uh, both are, I would refer as ultra magnums, both the 300 yes. Weatherby and the rum. Yep. Um, just to put things into perspective, uh, this is you, well, at max velocity with the grain weight, I'm going to try to make, have this make sense. In a second. You have to push a bullet that's over 215 grains before you're going to get under 3000 feet per second. Does that make right. sense? That sounds about right. Yeah, probably. Which, even, which is just insane, right? Even so, more, I think, because I have, uh, there's a load I've been testing recently, a 210 grain solid mono metal solid so it's copper so it's even longer and with that one i hit 3138 which came out to almost 4600 foot pounds i got 4591 foot pounds which is just ridiculous and that was in 45 degree temperatures so it wasn't like hot or anything that was in cool temperatures too so yeah. i would say even a 220 230 you can still hit 3000 in my opinion <laughs> which is just insane it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, it was a lot of fun to do the test and it was fun to see the results from both of the cartridges and you really can't go wrong with either one. Uh, just hand load them and you're going to have an insane performer. Yeah. And you're going to have a ton of fun too. I mean, there's so many different bullets out there uh, with these cases are just so big. You can use 
you know, really heavy, long bullets that like with a wind mag or 3006, you're going to have a little bit of trouble because the bullets get long and you get compressed loads with these big cases. You can have so much fun. And uh, even like some of the factory ammo, like I, I want to mention one uh, factory ammo that got discontinued. It was the Remington 200 grain A-frame, which uh, for some reason it got discontinued. And that's factory ammo. With that, I averaged 3,200 with a 200 grain bullet, and I got 4,547 foot pounds, 4,547 foot pounds with factory ammo. So it's it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting cartridge, and Weatherby yeah. is interesting as well. Yeah, this is my hunting load right now. Uh, this is a 200 grain Acubon going 3,100 feet per second. Put into per perspective the uh, the energy just at 400 yards is 400 more foot pounds than a 6.5 Creed more at the muzzle <laughs> <laughs> at 400 yards. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's more than you would ever need. I mean, that, that you'll very humanely take game, you know, big game at, at f up to 500 yards. No problem. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to add or no, go big or go I home. That's what I, <laughs> that's my motto. Yeah hand loader go home <laughs> exactly <laughs> so uh thank you guys for joining us and thank you reloading weatherby for uh doing this test with me i learned a lot and i'm um, enjoying your channel check out his channel everyone and until next time we'll see you guys later take care and god bless see ya